back like we never left. SB here with the live reaction to Swordmaster's youngest son. This week, we did chapter 22 to 23, so you know the vibes. The cliffhanger of last chapter was we saw our boy Jin starting his training with the Tonas. Let's see what we got right now. Let's get into it. Swordmaster's youngest son, chapter 22. Let's get it. So you see, boom, giant explosion. You see, they training, getting on and cracking. Whoa, whoa, what just happened? You see, Tonas, Jin looking on like, what the fuck? Huh. The youngest sure has good instincts, huh? Oh, this is a flash. This is a flashback for the end of last chapter. Yeah. You, if you strike the clear rock too hard, it'll explode just like it did. You're the first ones to not get hurt after Luna. Whoa. Okay. Most of your siblings have learned from me. So this brutish performance is a rite of passage of sorts. I didn't think we'd have we'd have another unarmed child. Oh damn. Um, Uncle, may I ask how Luna no Nim had avoided it? Nigga said Uncle. Nigga called Unk. He's like, hmm. I think you'd be disappointed if you heard. All your brothers were as well. That's all right. Luna, well, to be precise, unlike you, she didn't evade it. Just like the others, she ended up taking the explosion head on. And we see Luna blocking herself from the explosion. But she was so sturdy, she didn't get hurt at all. What? What do you mean? She was so sturdy. She didn't get hurt at all. No marks, nothing. She just did. No, she's different, bro. What? And yo, Jin is shocked, bro. Yo, you are Lana, you right. She's a tank, bro. A tank, bro. Anyway, anyway, from now on, the three of you will be striking the clear rock. Until you're able to produce a clear sound at any given time and situation. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me see. We cut, we cut away now. To the boy. Ooh, that girl Luna. Young lady. Ah, Nanny. Thank you. Homegirl bringing her some tea. This was about... This is about what you told me earlier, but... Yeah. Yeah. You're referring to the sibling that tried to assassinate Jin, right? Yes. I am suspicious of young ladies Mew and Anne, considering how they are trying to keep Jin in check. I believe it's highly likely that they were behind it. Yeah? What's good, Yaten? How you doing, bro? Hmm. Do they do act out? But would they really? Are they crazy enough to assassinate someone inside Storm Castle? Taking someone, taking someone still in Storm Castle as an opponent, opponent in the Succession Wars is prohibited. See Luna looking down at her tea, like bro, they on some fuckery. And on top of that, if Father were to hear of such a plan. The family would be turned in, turned upside down and their lives would be at risk, you know? Then what are the chances? Then what are the chances of young Master Jin lying or misunderstanding something? He was 10 at the time. So I, I do believe that both cases are possible. To be honest, since then, I've been investigating for five years, but still haven't gotten any results. Damn, bro. So Luna has been looking for five years to find the culprit who tried to kill Jin when he was a little, little baby, a little, little lad, you know what I'm saying? And she hasn't found anything, which is kind of crazy to me because I expected her to have some kind of clue 
because she's so saucy. You know what I'm saying? But this shows that people are different. Oh, the maid's the one looking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's not... Oh, it's per Luna's request. Okay, got you. I thought Luna was looking personally. Okay. I don't think Jin would have lied. I think I'm a little on edge for some reason. Luna can't... Oh, she'd be suspicious. Okay, makes sense for sure. That definitely makes sense. I think I'm a little on edge for some reason. He was still being cautious around me then. It was not because he simply felt awkward, but because he felt his life was in danger. It was that kind of atmosphere. She could tell, bro. Then shall we investigate young ladies Mew and Anne? Yes, please. I'm more anxious about the fact that we haven't found anything out up until now. It feels ominous, right? I feel anxious as well. I'm worried you will be hurt by your siblings once again. Nanny, I've long passed, I've long passed my 13th birthday. Aren't you worrying too much? Wait. So did something happen on her when she was 13? Anyway, I wonder if Jin's doing well. Ah, you're referring to Jed Nim's training? Yep. He should be starting to feel the effects of my mind eye my mind's eye training just about now. Whoa. Getting hit by that by by the clear stone would hurt a lot. I'm sure he did fine. And we see, bro, she is absolutely gorgeous, bro. I, I feel like I gotta say this multiple times, bro. She home oh fuck i went up all by accident hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up she is absolutely stunning bro stunning dude like look at this panel bro i'm gonna just give y'all a sneak peek look at this panel she is absolutely stunning bro stunning is not even the word bro it's crazy Crazy. Sure. Different. Different. Them not finding anything means there's something big. Right. It wouldn't be hidden. Right. For sure. It definitely means that there's more, more of a conspiracy going on because it's being hidden so well. I definitely agree. It was nice watching someone as they grow. The next day. After the start of afternoon training, four hours later, all this training, out of all the ones I've done so far, this feels the worst. Ugh. And we see they're just looking just defeated right now, bro. Five minute break, and they're all just sitting down. <sighs> I thought it was... I thought it was training the control of your strength and sharpen your mind, but I was wrong. I need to first increase the the destructive power of my aura. Uncle was able to blow up a clear stone without using aura. Great. But I'm lacking but I'm lacking in base physical strength. So I need to make up for my lacking strength. By sharpening my aura. Okay. First, I'll have to sharpen my aura to hear the clear to hear that clear sound. Only then will I be able to break the clear stone. <sighs> Don't rush it. Take it slow. My man meditating. It was something even those stupid brothers of mine were able to do in my previous life. That means there's no way I can't do it. And we see, oh boy, Zed looking on like, hmm, Uncle Zed. They're holding on well, but he said break. What kind of break is this? 
that kid is spe- oh my god and we just see that boy that kid is special and we see just that boy jen holding the sword eyes closed mind at ease meditating bro just calm calm bruv Whew. who knows he may he might even be able to break luna's record he goes <laughs> yo gramps looking at the nigga like you yeah. <laughs> how pathetic Tell your brothers that if they plan on collapsing tomorrow, they shouldn't come. I understand. Ah! And the toners are just collapsed, face down on the floor, slumped. <laughs> the toners collapsed. The toners collapsed far, uh, far later than I expected. It seems they truly, they are truly Ren Runkendel's too after all. <sighs> The fucking Tonas. And the youngest is, and we see again, the, another shot of the boy Jin looking clean, bro. The youngest is. Just why is he the youngest? <laughs> if only he were born 10 years ago, he could have grasped the entirety of Rumkandel in his hands. You damn brother of mine. What a shame this is. <laughs> it's really it's such a shame it really is whoa one month later i'm i'm curious to why he's saying that it's just because he he thinks Jin is stronger than his brother or why does he feel like or is it some kind of you know, sibling rivalry type shit you know i'm curious one month later march 1795 intermediate cadets training facility attention intermediate class shall receive its first mission all cadets whose names are called are to come forward the first mission is a guarding mission you are to guard the rookies from the public blacksmith association the guards are houston vanding next the third mission is Demon Beast Subjugation. Your targets are orcs. The location will be unguarded areas of the Corano um, Principality. The participants will be... Hmm? Um... Whoa. Mad names, bro. Oh, he sees potential... But he thinks Jin is too far behind to have a shot. That makes sense. Okay. That definitely makes sense. Like, he's like, all right, this kid, the youngest, like, how could he possibly have a chance at the throne? I can definitely see that, too. Let me see. Mesa, Bellup, Scrut, Tymonth, Keiko, Jusen, Eddington, Sierra, Pilps, David, these 10. Oh, shit. There are 25 orcs that must be subjugated. Because orcs band together and move in groups, you must harden your resolve and devote yourself to the mission. That is all. Petro will inform you of the details. Oh, Bellup is sweating, bruv. Bellup is sweating right now. Oh, they're probably divided in all factions. Yeah, definitely true. We already know that the factions are already, like, made. Because we know Tonus had some. The two shitty sisters have their own people. So, like, we know that already. It's crazy. I wish you all luck. Orcs and Jason, even though they're newbies, poor things. They'll come back beaten half to death. Guess they'll have some proper incense in a coffin. Wow, that's crazy. We'll still have time until the mission starts. So how about writing your will? Or maybe you'd like to make a request to young master Jin. Please save us. I'm so scared. What? He says, this nigga ain't me sick. Hold it in, Tymonth. We aren't yet skilled enough to fight against them. We still have our first mission ahead of us. So getting injured would be troublesome as well. Okay, let's go, Mesa. Talk to him. Hold the man down. But Mesa... They insulted the young, it don't matter. Shut up and stay still. 
Have you forgotten? This is Rune Kendall. We must carry out the mission we've received. Talk to a Mesa. And we must come back successfully after completing our mission. That's what we can do to knock them down a peg. The only method we have. And she looks vicious, bro. She's ready. We know Mesa is a real one, bro. We know she's about that action. For sure. Sheesh. All right, bro. First mission of the intermediate. Let's go. Against these orcs, bro. Against these orcs, dude. All right, 23. Let's get it. We see Tona's still training. Hitting the clear, lock, clear rock. Boom. I'm dead. So we see. Ah. To one of Tona's overhead path. Pink cracks the rock. Huh? Ah. Boom. Giant explosions has been sent back flying. Daytona. Ah. J Jin. I'm dead. So as that shit's flying, as that shit's flying towards the towards it, boy, boom, Jenna hits it out the air with that shit. Oh, he did. He just took it. I thought he hit it. It actually hits Jin's shoulder. I thought he like hit it back with his sword, but no, he boom takes a hit right in the shoulder, bro. Oh, oh, my youngest one. Are you all right? Uh, uh, uh. I didn't do that on purpose. I'm fine. So can you do something? So can you do that somewhere away from me? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they dip off. <laughs> they both go in a corner, bro. And they're just... thinking gonna hit the rock. <laughs> it's been about a month since I've started training with the clear rocks. And my older brothers have also started to blow them up. I thought it would take a lot longer, though. But what was the sensation I just felt? What do you mean, bro? Wait, what do you mean, bro? It was like a path of iron beads was drawn. Jin! What? So Jin looks back, sees that shit. It's drawn so clearly... Like the trajectory of an incoming arrow. Now, if the if the iron beads come flying at me again, I will definitely be able to avoid them. Oh, shit. So the man saw the trajectory, but he couldn't dodge it in time. But now he knows he can. Perhaps the sensation is mind's eye. Exactly, yup. Mind's eye is related to the training I received from Sister Luna, exactly. We see Flash of Luna, best girl. Then, before I forget the sensation, one more time. Attention! You have been given a mission. Mmm, damn, bro, okay. An event, an event! And it's, um, it's a... It's the Bement Empire? I'm already feeling nauseous and exhausted. I hate banquet attire. It's so stuffy. My condolences, my nephews. <laughs> Thanks to you all, the older brothers won't need to dance won't need to dance at the Imperial Party. <sighs> but even if it's an event, you dare sigh on a mission? Show me that attitude one more time, and you and I'll make sure you feel like you want to be dead inside. Talk to him. <laughs> He's like, you dare side a mission? <laughs> Sorry, uncle. <laughs> sisters Mu, sisters Mew and and Anne are also mean. To punish their ignorant brothers by sending them to social events in the Bement Empire. Wow. They scapegoated them. I'm crazy, bro. It's so funny. It's a big event that will not it will be hard to decline, even for you, Rune Kendall. There will be strong people attending for entertainment. 
Go and take a good look, since you could learn a thing or two from them. Okay. Yes. And the youngest one. Yes, uncle. The, the task assigned to you. Hmm. A VIP assassination. Whoa. A, a VIP assassination. The target is the Talaris, the master of the Ice Palace's toy. In other words, it's one of her many lovers. Whoa. You know about the uh, about the ice palace and its master, right? Yes. Let me see. The ice palace refers to a huge tower in the middle of the western sea of the continent. The master of the ice palace refers to it refers to the tower's owner. The current fifty-first master of the ice palace, Talaris and um and Dorma, is nicknamed Spider of the Abyss. Okay. And is famous for being endlessly merciless to those who touch her lovers. Right. They call her lover her toys, bro. That's like that's how you know she's toxic. <laughs> that's how she's toxic, bro. <laughs> the Ice Palace is an in independent force outside the influence of Rune Kendall and Zeppel. If you have you have a grasp on how strong the ice palace and the mass of the ice palace is, right? The name of the target is Alcarno Chenderer. Chenderer. <laughs> Currently, he's being escorted by the people of the ice palace and is staying at a lawless zone in Mammy. What? He's in the lawless zone? In the lawless zone of Mammoth. What? Mammoth? If it's in Mammoth, they'll get the Guardian Knights to have an offer. Uncle, I have a question. What? Isn't this too much? Even for the even if the youngest is good? Wait. What's up with that, bruh? If it's in Mammoth, they'll they'll get the Guardian Knights. They'll get what the Guardian Knights have to offer. Hmm. Interesting. The clients are the... Wait. The clients are the Chenderer family. Is it is it correct that the Chenderer family requested to have their own child killed? Whoa. That's right. It seems they've done enough. That it seemed they've done everything they could to bring him back, but everything looks like everything's failed. They must have decided that it's better to have him dead than to let their family secret out. What do you think about this mission? Can you do it? I'll do it. I'll do it, no problem. How are you so this boy? He should he should know about the master. Of the ice palace and mammoth, but he's going to just accept it. I mean, different boy. If he said, if he said it was unreasonable, I was going to say something, something to the guards. But, ha, it's fine. I like that you're straightforward. <laughs> the three of you will have th two days to leave. We'll leave two days later. Okay. Uncle, is Jin really going to mammoth? He said he's willing to go, so there's no reason for me to stop him. After the mission, after the mission's afternoon training is canceled, make sure your personal training doesn't affect this mission. All right. Yes, yes, Uncle. Hey, Jin, youngest. What? Um, if you need, if you need to just expose yourself and say you're a Rune Kendall. Yeah. Then no one will be able to bother you. I'm dead. He's like, bro, we'll say the name and they won't they won't buck with you. Dude. This arc is, is absolutely fire, believe me. Oh, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. How surprising for both of you to worry about me. No, 
When did we? Yeah. We said this so you don't die. Because we're gonna destroy you, older brothers. Until I return. Make a definite decision. Oh, fuck. He's gonna do it. He grabs... Jin grabs a sword and then this whoo hits the clear rock and go ah it's gonna explode bing woo bing doesn't explode the sound rings everything they're like tones are stunned if you like the old sisters more or me he's like before I come back make a definite decision do you like the older sisters better or me. <laughs> Go. Hey, Tona. Daytona. Pardon? Like what the youngest... Like what the youngest has said. Prepare yourselves. And until you both are strong enough, don't go against him. If you want to live a long life, that is. Even Unk is like, boy, if y'all want to see 80... If y'all want to live a full life, don't go against Jin. Because that's the quickest way to an early grave. Goodness. <laughs> Two days later. Young master, you're going to Mammoth, the lawless zone? Yes. But young master, your hair color. Ah. I'm in disguise. So I so I can get exposed as a rune candel. I see. My task is different. My task is different from um from you all. So I need to go a different teleportation gate. Your mission is a subjugation mission, right? Yes. Your expressions are dark. Did something happen? Nothing. We only we only came to say our farewells before you left. What do you mean farewells? This won't be the last time we meet. Well, if I'm if I'm unlucky, one of us might die. But nothing will change, even if you worry, right? So you must all focus on the tasks that's assigned to you. Since I will definitely return. The fucking goat. The goat. And the gravitas of what he says that, bro, it shakes his whole squad, bro. His whole faction gets shook to their core. When he says, I will definitely return, bro. So don't get any injuries because of needless worrying. Yes, one master. Please be careful. Yeah, I'll see you later. You've gotten yourself some cute ones. <laughs> You've gotten yourself some cute ones, right? So please look after them as well, after them well. Sheesh! And we see that boy, Murakan. Don't worry. This body is the great black and you must not get caught or be obvious damn it this damn brat <laughs> not to be you you be careful not get caught don't get careless because of your you trust your disguise <laughs> go quickly i'm going <laughs> murakhan so weak bro <laughs> murakhan isn't here either it'll it'll be quiet for a while Think of this as a vacation, Gilly. I'll bring you a souvenir when I return. But you're going to assassinate an ice prince, an ice palace master's lover. I'm worried. Right. Because we they already said that she don't take kindly to, to people who fuck with her lover. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna see it's like setting up for Jin and Ice Princess to have some kind of clash, you know? I know that the young master is not a mid-class cadet, but Mammoth is a dangerous place. So please look after yourself. I will. Then I'm off. <laughs> Beautiful panel to have him on the horse too. On a horse. Beautiful. And I'm off. Sheesh. Swordmaster. Chapter 23. End. Sheesh, man. I'm ready, bro. Like, so much stuff was set up in these two chapters, bro. Like, with Jin clearing the training, going to Mammoth, we're going to a new place, a new locale, which is tight. And it's supposedly super dangerous, which is, like, gonna be good for the story. And then we also have the flip side of our squad going to the orcs, you know? 
And I'm curious about them too, because they set that up to be really bad for us. So I'm curious how it's actually gonna go. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is on spicy, bro. I can't wait to see what Mammoth is like. Because they are gassing up like something crazy. So I'm ready, bro. It's getting spicy, bro. So if you made it to the end of the live reaction, I appreciate that so much. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like on the video. It really help out the channel. Also, drop a sub. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm bringing different live reactions every week. So yeah, I'm going to see y'all next time. Stay safe out in these streets. And I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.